Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Christy and today I am so excited to share this video with you. If you watch my channel, you know that I lived full time in a tiny Casita camper for four years and I have been looking for a van for a while. Less than two weeks ago, I flew to Colorado to Denver, got the van and drove it back home and have turned it into a no build build. Um, one of the reasons that I wanted to do that is that I didn't have the money to buy a completely finished out van, you know, for a hundred thousand or 150 or 200 or whatever that is. I didn't have the money to do that. Um, if you do great for you, I'm not knocking that at all. I just wanted to show you guys that it is possible to take a completely empty shell and turn it into a comfortable little home or something to travel in without spending a ton of money in a conversion for something that is still completely comfortable and livable in the current shape that it is. So I wanted to share that with you. Um, I will be converting as I go. So I don't really have a timeline, uh, whether it's six months or a year for it to be finished or two years, because currently it's livable and I can travel just like it is. And I am so ready to get back on the road and to find some adventure. And I can fully do that in the state that the van is in right now. And I didn't spend a lot of money getting it to this particular point and just about anybody could do this. So I wanted to share that with you guys. I know you want me to quit rambling and go ahead and jump on into the video, uh, but I wanted to point out one more thing. You won't see any sound deadener or um, insulation on the walls yet. And the reason for that is I'm still going to have um, a couple of little uh, dorm windows or bunk windows put in on either side for ventilation. I'm also going to have an Air Max fan put in in the front and um, I didn't want to go ahead and install the insulation and then have to remove all that. But I'm still probably a month or two months away from having that done. So I'm going to keep things like it is. I know I'm going to have to move everything out whenever I get that done. But right now I'm going to do some traveling. So stick around. I'll take you on a tour of the van as it is right now. Keep in mind I've had it less than two weeks, so there's going to be a lot of changes along the way, and I have a lot more plans for it, but this is the out of the box, less than two weeks, I can hit the road right now. Here's your tour. So when you first walk in the door, this is what you see. To the bottom right, this is um, a seat, but it's also my toilet. And I will show you in another video how that works. Then I've just got a little hanging area for my coats and hats. Um, right now, I don't have everything bungeed up because I didn't want to have to take time to undo it to show you on the video. But right now, these are all of the things that keep everything in place on a normal basis. So as we scan around here, I've got my fan, um, a place here that I keep my purse and keys, always have a place to put it. And all of these things are magnetized and they are super strong magnets. Um, it takes two hands for me to pull them off. I was going to try to show you just then, but I couldn't. I really like the little magnetic lights on top. I got one down to show you here. What I like about them is that I can just move them wherever I want. I decide I want light there I can move it there and anywhere else around the van that I need a specific spotlight so I really like that maybe a little hard to tell with the light I may close the blinds for you in a minute but oh, I have twinkle lights all the way around too kind of cool kinda then cool. moving down to my refrigerator and this thing can be a refrigerator and freezer or you can switch them or you can have both um, right now I'm just using that side as refrigerator just for some extra water and on this side, I also just have it set up as a refrigerator right now. I've been meal prepping when in town with my boyfriend, so we have got some work to do this week, but it does hold quite a bit of stuff and also pulls very little wattage when the compressor's not running. And you can see over here, there's the display where you can adjust the temperatures. And then coming here to my plastic drawers, I did want to let you guys know, I do have these uh, zip tied in the back and then I put bungees on them whenever I'm traveling so the drawers don't come up but they're pretty stable like I said they are zip tied to the spots in the back I just keep some clothing like socks underwear that kind of thing in that drawer this drawer is a mangled mess of 
uh, t-shirts and things I sleep in and some exercise clothes, that sort of thing. In the bottom drawer is just uh, some fuzzy socks and then I have some extra um, of the shredded stuff for the toilet in here. Then here I have this little rack that pulls out and again it's bungeed when I'm traveling. Keep all my cleaning supplies here and my flip-flops on the bottom. This is probably a pretty temporary thing but here we are. So on top of these drawers, I keep my smaller Jackery up here um, and I do use it at night when I charge my phone just because it reaches a little bit better for my phone to plug in. And this is my power strip, which eventually is going to be mounted. Um, but right now it just sits up here and I'll show you how the plug goes from the outside in whenever I have shore power. In these particular drawers, I have my shirts rolled, some are rolled, some are folded in here to get more in. Um, then the second drawer, same thing, just more, these are long sleeves, these are short sleeve and more comfortable shirts. And then on the bottom, I keep my pants, jeans, all that kind of thing in here. There's a little better look at the, it's a Belkin surge protector bar that I have. I don't know if you can see, there is a plug that now goes to the outside that I put in. Now let's look under the bed, which admittedly is quite a mess but there is hope. Uh, to the right over there, bungeed in, I have my solar panels for my Jackery. This is my Jackery 2000, and I love this thing. I am not sponsored by Jackery. If you saw my other, my car camping video, I did have this in the car prior to getting the van. This thing is a beast. It does power the microwave, my cooktop, my hair dryer. Um, it's a 2000 watt power station, and it's lithium battery. Love this thing. I can charge it in two hours, if it's plugged into shore power, um, you can also plug it into DC power or your cigarette lighter. And then again, I do have the solar panels. This thing is absolutely amazing. All right, moving up here, I have a space heater that I use in the cold mornings. Um, when I have shore power, I can leave it plugged in all night. Otherwise, I just kind of cycle it when I get cold, but I have an electric blanket as well. And then I can show you the rest of that storage from the back. Moving here to the side of the kitchen, I have this rack. Again, it's usually bungeed, but on the top I have my spices and things. I have some cans and cooking things underneath. Same thing here. And then on the bottom, just a little bit extra storage for some additional bungees and toilet paper. But it fits really nicely in this little slot. <laughs> if I don't push it too hard. <laughs> Moving on over here. On top, I keep a basket that has my paper plates and paper towels and actually some plates in here, some cups. Just kind of at the ready um, that is secured, of course, when driving. And my top drawer, I just have um, silverware, some extra meal prepping items, and I've got my sandwich baggies, some cooking things, etc. And this next drawer may seem a bit out of place, but I get to it very um, easily here. And it's got my hair dryer, curling irons, hairspray, makeup, all the girly stuff that I need to get ready in the mornings. And then the bottom drawer is just dishes, um, pans, and, and things like that. Now, yes, this is a puppy pad, but I have these glass dishes, and I've got to get something better because they rattle when I drive, and it drives me insane. So I just tucked the puppy pad in between so I didn't have to listen to that. It makes me a little nuts. And on the bottom down here, I just have some of my dry goods. Right now it's fairly empty. I just have some package mixes for gravy and tacos and things and peanut butter. And usually my bread will go in here. I've got some tortillas, some pork rinds, and just some little bars um, down here. All right, so let me move this out of the way so I can show you my current water system. Um, this, obviously this fancy thing, this is going to be my drain from my sink. This is just gray water. This is hand washing sink. This is dishwashing, um, all of that sort of thing. And I put it in smudge, such a small container because I empty it every day. I don't want this to be something that gets so heavy that I dread taking out. So small container, empty it every day. It works out well. And this water jug back here, this is really just full of tap water. Uh, there is a line. I don't know if you can see this little, yeah, you can, the little rubber line that's tucked down in there. I've got some more tubing that's coming um, that's going to be longer so that I can relocate that to the floor. I don't like it being up here and it is quite a pain to bungee it in safely. But for now, that's where it is because the line I have, the tubing I have is very short. So let me show what it looks like up top. So truly this Ikea prep space kitchen sink is really one of my favorite things. 
Um, you know, it may be somewhat temporary, but it really works in this situation. Obviously the sink came with it, but then I found this, it's a USB chargeable water pump and just has a button on top. I have running water and then turn it off. And then that does drain into the fancy drain down there that I can just pour out. The cool thing about it is that it is USB chargeable. You can find these on Amazon. People use them on their five gallon water jugs that they purchase. Um, right now I just have magnets attached to the inside that are holding it on, but basically that's it. It feeds right down into the water bottle underneath and voila, I have running water. Now, all of these little shelves and buckets, they're all part of this system that you can purchase separately from Ikea, just to have some extra little storage items. Um, of course, minus the magnetic spice racks that I absolutely love. And this is my little cooktop as of right now. I plan to upgrade that, but it's held in place by magnets underneath. It does not move at all. And then I have a mirror up there. I do have plans for a full length mirror once I get some cabinetry in here, but that's where it is for now. And then I do have um, also a little paper towel holder here on the side and my trash can down there at the bottom. And one thing I love about the van is that it came with the windows in the back already. Now they are stationary, they don't open, but while I don't have a great view for you right now for purposes of the tour video, um, I cannot wait to have oceans or mountains out that back window when I'm laying on the bed. I just think it's going to be incredible. Um, and speaking of the bed, let me show you how that's set up. As far as the bed, the mattress I had from my casita that I sold, I just brought it with me and it was just an Amazon uh, find that I can link for you. I love this thing, so I didn't want to replace it. So we'll be showing you the bed installation in another video, but other than this front piece, it is an Ikea. Um, the frames, the rails, and the slats are all from Ikea and they are just mounted by brackets on the sides, extremely sturdy but that's where that came from. And then uh, a shout out to Steven who installed this for me and I'll put his information at the end cause he's wonderful. He uh, put the extra piece of board on there for me so the mattress doesn't slide forward when I drive. So there's the view of all of that. And there is some additional storage above the seats. Right now I just have some towels in there, some extra tarps. And then that corner I have my life jacket and some of my kayaking things. I do also have the curtains hung up in here and at night, those are the blackout curtains at night when I close them, it gets completely pitch black in here, which I absolutely love. So this is the view from the back with the doors opened up. And again, the garage area here is a bit messy. Um, I just want to show you a little bit what I have. So this is my laundry basket, which is great. I can unhook it and take it with me. I store my extension cord here. I've got a medical kit. This is an extra cook stove, my mat for outside, and then some miscellaneous stuff. Then my car jumper, I've got tools in here, an extra step stool, bottle of water, and that's kind of the look from underneath the bed inside. That will be organized a bit better, but I just wanted you to see what that looks like. But then also the view from inside when the doors are open. Pretty nice. So guys, I hope you liked the video. If you're interested, come back on Tuesday and I'll hopefully be posting the video where I installed the shore plug on the outside. Um, very intimidating to try to do that, but I'm so glad that I got it done and it's going to be a game changer for me on the road. Otherwise, I'm going to get back out there and start exploring again now that I have the van in the shape where I can actually do that. Um, you guys, please remember to always enjoy those little things and I'll see you next time.